Like, literally, thump. Mr. Torrance? The detective looks at him, then looks back and goes, Mate, you're a doctor. You're a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm yeah. Just, uh, yeah. investigate this no. man. Would you like to try and roll first aid or anything to see if you can, you know, make sure he doesn't die from the, the, the near fatal him. heart attack he's having? I'm sure I have medical doctor things that will help me with that. Um, let's see if you- uh, try first aid. First aid? Yeah, I got first aid. Okay, roll it. 46. Okay. He isn't conscious, but he's still breathing. Thank uh, God. Detective Thatcher oh. starts going, okay, get the stretchers in. You see uh, the uh, the guys who originally thought they were just here for a corpse go, oh shit, he's alive. Taking him away, <laughs> leading him away in a stretcher to the ambulance outside, oh. which originally was here just to pick up a corpse. Oh. Lads, come back later for the next one. Hopefully that's the last one. That could have gone better. Um... So yeah. the uh, the name he said, Mr. Barnes. Said Mr. <clears throat> he no. said Mr. Torrance. Terrence. Torrance. 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 Yeah, the director was um, Quincy Dumont. Oh, Dumont. The detective just looks I around. Didn't catch the last name. This might be a bit of a mulligan. He goes, "Has anyone searched the body?" <laughs> I'm sorry, I was rather caught off guard by all the gore. <laughs> You didn't search the body? Did you search the body? I'm sorry, I was busy being horrified no, by the stabs in the eyes. No, I assumed that the doctor was investigating the body would do it. Yeah, I'll immediately your skin starts crawling when you realize you're a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> you're, you're the one thing you hit. So, the, so, okay, the detective goes over to the body and starts looking around. So the doctor, not kind of feeling they feel a bit useless in this, heads towards the backstage. V, what do you do? While avoiding the lap full of viscera, yeah, Tina uh, is going to uh, check pockets, check okay. the coat. Okay, so, so uh, even, we stick with the body, or we go backstage. Even! Okay, so as you're searching, like, you know, heh, 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 it's a wallet! Oh, nice! And you open up and you see the identity- Oh my god, I you... didn't need to ask the night god! I could have looked at his wallet! <laughs> god damn it. You see dead. inside is an ID. Uh -huh. Ernest Torrance. And you see, Ernest? and you find a card for uh, Torrance Limited. And you see uh, Barrister. Sorry, <clears throat> for Americans, Lawyer. Oh, gotcha. Esquire. Mm, yes. Also, you see that he is uh, wearing a wedding ring, and that his watch has been uh, seems to be s smashed, but it it's listed as Ooh. 450. Meanwhile, backstage, I'm having a little bit of a crisis. Uh, the doctor, who is now once again freaking out, the third doctor. doctor. You uh, get behind the scenery, and you're literally into the giant, almost empty warehouse. I think has anyone here actually been behind backstage in operas? Or a stage, there are usually a ton of room. Uh, you know, <laughs> depends on your stage. You see sandbag uh, attached to the ropes. And you see the, mm -hmm. the the backgrounds being held up, held up, and roll spot hidden. Oh, great. He's here, the Phantom of the Opera. See, from the rafters. Uh, I got a thirteen. You don't want to hear Tina sing. I don't need to know what that sounds like. And you realize, oh, I'm stepping. It's blood. Awesome. Uh, you have an idea going. Okay, wait, but this isn't that much blood. Something was dripping, it's just but, like a little? Yeah, but it seems to be going away from the body. Mm-hmm. Can I follow it? Yeah. Is there like a trail of any kind? Yep, you follow it. I, I, as you're following, um, you come to, it looks to be a barrel, but the barrel is obviously, you know, it's a fake barrel. Mm. But inside of yep. it, it's open. Do you look in? Awesome. Family, no. <laughs> do you look into the barrel? I am wracked with the crisis of do what you has happened in, in the last, do like, you, do 10 you look minutes into, of it. Do you look into the barrel? Oh. Um, I want to alert the, the investigator that we're with. Okay. <laughs> Thatcher comes around the corner. Or detective, man. The, the detective Thatcher comes around and says, what's up? Yeah. Um, I found a, a trail of blood leading to this open barrel. Okay. He looks, he looks, he looks over and goes, well, it's, a, it, it's an empty barrel. But there's a hammer behind it. Well, uh, ah. He reaches down and picks up a big bloody mallet. And he went, well, I think we, we find a... a murder. Or at least one of them. He's like, well done, doctor. You find a clue. Thank you. He comes back saying, well, the doctor found a hammer. Well, I did. Well done, doctor. Well, actually, no, screw that. The doctor found an empty barrel. I found the hammer. Why am I thanking the doctor? I found a I hammer. I found the blood trail that led us to the oh. empty barrel that led you to the hammer. Was there a, was there any blood in the barrel? No, it was literally empty. No, nothing. The blood was there, but yeah, but the hammer was like, behind it was put the behind barrel. Behind the barrel, it wasn't put in the barrel. Yes. Oh. I'm 
mistaken, somebody killed, um, Mr. K no, yeah, Mr. Tor Mr. Torrance, Mr. Torrance, Mr. Torrance, and then, and then transported the body over here. The, the detective looks around and says, I don't know. Because he kind of points to saying, we're on a stage. And you see him making a face. I think he's above the trap door, and I think that's where all the blood's go. Maybe so. The detective makes a real, like, face in. There's gonna be a puddle down there. We should bring nice. him up. In other words, like, uh, Det Detective Lewis, the, wheel the guy who, you know, had to help uh, get the... Uh, old man having a heart attack out and vomited seeing the eyeball thing. And uh, he's like, yeah. Lack of eyeball. It's like, do you want to check uh, onto the stage first? He's like, sure. Because he's a young, he's about 16. Young, fresh-faced, right out of the academy, this thinks he's- He hasn't been scarred for life in the past 15 years. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got a very bad opium fu future in his. <laughs> and uh, you, see him, you, see, you, see, you see him enter oh, like at the side. Right. So he met the side and he was dying and you hear him screaming, Oh my god, it's sticky! Sticky in a lens of it. Is there only blood down there? I don't know, it's just... <clears throat> the detective goes, I think there's a lot of blood down there. So... Well, down there's vomit. So, we can, we can what do we know so far after investigating the body and the murder scene? Well, uh, definitely we know it wasn't a robbery, and it was definitely just to fucking kill this dude, because if it was a robbery, they would have stolen all of the fancy shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but maybe they brought the fancy shit because the mask, solid gold mask, was well, no. not a prop. Because the other, uh, because Mr. Torrance is fucking filthy rich, and they didn't take anything uh, from yeah. his body, we, as far as we can tell. Is there I money in his wallet? wallet? Did you look at that? I did look at his wallet, but I was only told that there was an ID. The detective opens it and says he's got uh, $15 in there. Which, you know, it's timey yeah. money. It means he's sitting around with $200. Yeah, he's got yeah. like so much it money. Was a robbery. Yeah. This was definitely uh, somewhat planned because you can't, you don't just. The thing. Oh, right. Uh, the thing that's fucking me up is that this dude was killed and then disemboweled. Like, and then nailed to a shitty minutes? throw. The detective kind of looks like he goes, Definitely wasn't from yesterday, I can tell you that much, just from the fact that none of us are dying from the smell. Yeah. But he looks like going, so. What I have so far is that this is the exact same MO as a killer in custody. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Uh, we know he's. We know uh, Mr. Torrance is married, uh, so we can talk to the wife. No, about... he's a lawyer, so he. We could probably talk to enemies, uh, his lawyer enemies. people. And he has lots of enemies. Mm -hmm. or we know that the mask we could, we is could something see we where... discuss in public. No. Um, yeah, but we could investigate like his, his firm and stuff. Mm -hmm. See more about him personally. The detective looks like, okay, so we're going and to, we're going to have, we're going to have to take down to the morgue. There's going to be an autopsy, so we'll know more about that later. So... Wow, their job is so much easier! So... Where are she going? The options there's I doctors there. <laughs> there's doctors. Doctors <laughs> everywhere. Doctors everywhere. The only suspect in this case is literally behind bars in the asylum. So that's one. We have the law firm and we have uh you say wife? Yes. Wife, yeah. Okay. And also the mask. The detective looks and goes, and you, might, you might need to go to, you might need to go to the Miscatonic to have a story or something. Look at that, Miskatonic being a university. I went to college. You went to college. <laughs> you have debt. Because I'm a very, very nice uh, GM, I will allow you to split the party. And I will I will let you guys know when that will become dangerous. Okay. Don't because you know this, you this never is never split the party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point I'm making. Since this is a beginner game, I'll let you know when that's a bad idea to do that. But we're still in the investigation part so far. So... What would you oh. like to do? You have several <laughs> options. You have several options. What would you like to do? Okay, so I know that um, Tina would probably be interested in the strange mask. Um, and since she has yeah. higher intelligence, she would go uh, be the one to go and investigate that at the university. Okay. Doctor, what would you like to do? Now, the, re the reason I'm suggesting the split party is... There's only two of you, and this was originally supposed to be written for three to four people. So I might yeah. need to just investigate uh, other things. Well, the doctor's not going to go to the asylum because there's doctors there. 
Yeah. Fuck that. The, the asylum is um, so much fun, though. That is that is entirely too many doctors. That is a whole building mm-hmm. of doctors. I'm not doing that. Okay. I guess I could go to the law firm okay. and ask about Mr. Torrance. Okay. So rolling again. Even we go to the law firm. Odd. We go to the Miskatonic University. Whoop whoop. Go squid people. Squid people. Yeah. Okay. We're going to the law. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the law firm. Okay. Your dice like me, I guess. I mean, they really don't. They give you many, many phobias. Yeah. You're, so you arrive at the law firm. You're welcomed by a secretary who says, Hello, have you got an appointment? Uh, no, I'm here with the... Hang on, where are we? Arkham. <laughs> yes, I'm here with the uh, Arkham Detective Club, and um, unfortunately, we seem to have found... You have Mr. a club? Ernest Torrance. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Mr. Torrance isn't in today. I, I am aware of that, unfortunately. But would you like to speak have, to Mr. Torrance? Uh... At... I don't think that's going to be possible. So, no, 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 no. Right. What I'm saying is, have... Mr. Torrance isn't in today, but would you like to speak to Mr. I Torrance? I know, because we've... I was like, I'm sorry, Miss. I, I'm here because... You see, she's just kind of smiling dumbly, and a man steps around the corner going, <laughs> Damn it, Janice. Hello, I am Michael Torrance. There's there's two of us. She gets confused. Janice, you suck. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Good morning. It's, it's a, you don't worry. It's, it's, it's a 30. You just got to give her a quite Fuck spank in the arse, and we're going to be okay. So, um... Michael Torrance says, hello, pleasure to meet you. Have you an appointment? Or was the appointment with my brother? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm here to discuss a very uh, sensitive topic about your brother. <laughs> okay. Who are you? I, I am Dr. Stanley Lars. Okay, okay, so you must you must be uh, my brother's doctor. Please, come in. He, All right. he leads you into a very, very I, nice I'm... office and sits down behind you. So, what can yeah, I do for yeah, you? For a fucking lawyer, he makes a lot of assumptions for fucking <laughs> So what can you tell me about Ernest? Is everything okay? Is this one of those next to kin things I need to sign or something? No, 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 no. He, he no, should no, be in by a bit of ten. He's usually a bit late. Will, I usually like a drink. I have, so, I, have so, I have so many whiskeys and brandies no, 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 because, no, thank you. you know, it's the thirties. <laughs> I'm going to make myself one. I, I am afraid I, I have not come with good news, sir. Uh, I am from the detective club. And you have a club? Yes, we have a club. Found your brother, unfortunately, quite murdered. <gasps> you found him quite murdered? Quite murdered. You, you seem shaken by this. Like, what happened? I know, I, I'm terribly sorry, I, I wish I had come with better news, but we've found that this is his occupation uh, upon investigation, and we need as much information about him as we can get. You see, he's very, very... He almost sinks into his chair because, you know, you just told him that yeah, his brother's dead. Yeah, I just told him dead. his brother's murdered. <laughs> you see him finish his drink and goes to pour himself a double. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I understand. I, 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 I've, not, I've, not, I've not seen him since last night, but everything was going so well. We, um, we've been bankrolling a couple of uh, artistic ventures mm-hmm. uh, in Arkham. You know, we, we made some money, we made some investments. We were part of the group who helped rebuild the Opera House. We helped in the local Arkham galleries. Uh, we, we completely funded Mr. Pickman's new gallery. That's not a lead, that's just an Easter egg. <laughs> Thank you. Did he at least pass peacefully? <laughs> I, you see that he's literally nearly crying. I wish that I could tell you yes. I'm so sorry. What happened? I'm not at liberty to talk about it at the moment. But you're at liberty to tell me that he died and he throws the glass against the bookshelf of like, books that he has because he's a lawyer in the 30s, so of course he has a bookshelf. Sir, your toxic yeah. masculinity. No, <laughs> Sir, I'm I'm very sorry. I I if I could share the details with you, like I would, but I I'm I'm afraid that it it wouldn't help you feel any better. I am <laughs> furious, sir. I, I would be as well. He I says he punches the wall and makes a comment about like, women online. <laughs> <laughs> I stare at him. I'm just a, I'm just a little twink. Like, oh, did you say you're a little twink? I'm Stop. a little twink. <laughs> and da, 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 here's my uh, and here's my arse. No, I'm so. scared of myself because I'm a doctor. So he is so <laughs> hmm, he's very very angry at this point. You have to tell. So what are you doing about it? You say you say you're a detective or a doctor or what the hell are you? He slams his fist on the table because he's very very mad. I and angry. I'm I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm an investigative doctor. I, I determine time of death. And that sort of thing. <laughs> Actually, you didn't. You didn't do any of that. You didn't do any of that. I asked if I could, and then you didn't say anything. No, no, no. You asked if you could, you took the mask off, and then you freaked out. You got yeah. a little Yeah. So. It's fine. What would you like to ask But that is the, my job. The, the, the man is, the, the man is now I pacing, did. pacing like a lion. I'm sorry to upset you so great, so much, sir. I, I, this is just doing my job. So at this point in time, it would be a time, it's to, my job. T- time to ask questions before he throws you out. Yeah, I... I'm just like, well, I, I know that you're you're in extreme distress, but I would you have any idea who could have done something like this to him? Any enemies? Anything? He starts thinking. Then he realize he looks at his calendar and he realizes what it is. It's almost it's the anniversary of his wife's death. Oh, oh dear. 
Yes, he was um, doing a pro bono case, trying to help a mentally ill man, man escaped from custody and murdered his wife by nailing her to the living room chair and cutting out her heart. Oh goodness. Oh, that's quite brutal. Do you have any idea who could have done that? Yeah, he's in prison. Did he escape? I have no the butcher idea. Butcher Hangman's Hall. I, I, I made sure. I made sure that I was the prosecutor in that case. I made sure, I was trying to get him that bit. Sorry, he's not. That. Fuck! I was trying to get that man hung. Slams his hand on the table so again. Ow. David. David, it's hanged. Hey, it's the man. Hey, you don't. Stupid, but it is. Hey, if you want hey, to hey. get him hung? That's a little different. I'm not judging. Hey, we've already talked about Tina. Doesn't judge. He's that kind of lawyer. Tina's not there. <laughs> Tina, Tina's got her own stuff to deal with. I'm not going to correct him. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he's now thinking, he says, like, did the man escape? Is that who you're after? Not to my knowledge, sir. What other questions would you like to ask him? The information he's given you is, this is almost identical to the, the wife's death, which happened exactly a year ago, and that he saw his brother last day? night, and that they okay. have been invest, investing in what, things. Uh, what, what, were you, what were you doing with your brother then? Before. Um, we were watching oh, the dress rehearsal for a new play, The King in Yellow. Once again, we right. we put some money into it. Uh, we were in the uh, opera house till about nine. We were having some celebration. Uh, he, he always says the word drinks and then stops as he realizes <clears throat> that's illegal now, right? No one drinks. Prohibition is thing. Completely sober. <laughs> Where we were with the director and Mr. Dimon and uh, Mr. Mm. Saint. We had a few coffees and uh, we left. And then I met Mr. Dimon and uh, Mr. Saint afterwards at their brownstone. Just you? Yes, my brother was supposed to meet us, but I assumed he went home early. Now that I realize I was a fool and wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Pours himself another drink just to so, throw it at a wall. <laughs> I'm just like, please, your glassware, sir. The hell with the glassware. <laughs> All right, so just to be certain, you left with your brother or did you I left about, separately from I left about nine, nine, 9 p.m. with my brother, uh, though we, we were both driving separately. Okay. Well, the fact he's, this, he's, he's pouring drinks and throwing them during Prohibition. Anyway. Hey, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, I'm it, not going it, to it, tell. It's his private collection. He would hurt to. me. I'm not going to tell. <laughs> Terrible thing to say. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd also like to ask him? Did you notice any suspicious characters around the theater that night? I mean, have you ever or met actors? <sighs> not personally, but I find that they are strange people. Yes, they are. <laughs> Especially that queer Ryan folk. Saint. He's a, he's a queer folk. I see. 1930 <laughs> slang. He's a bit queer, that one. <laughs> sure. Do you suspect him of doing anything? I, Murders? I don't know. He's just come back from doing all those silent films in Hollywood. I see. I love silent. Yes. The talkies are going to blow their minds. Yeah. And, yeah. He's, and, he, and he's also one of the people who's Do you think one day we'll be able to have movies with sound? What madness are you speaking of, sir? How dare you? He takes a drink I'm and then throws it into a conveniently lit fireplace behind him. Boom. I'm like, ah! <laughs> What is a man? Did I ask? Did I ask? So, is there anything else you'd like to ask him? How's your day? All right. When when your brother left, um, do you know if he went straight to his? his... I have no idea. We both left in different guess. cars. He literally. That's how last time I saw him was him getting in his car and driving away. I then went, and, I you see. know, went to the brownstone with the other um, two. So he did drive away. You did see that. Yes. Do you know which direction he drove or where he would have been going? Okay, let's be honest with this time. I'd be making up street addresses for a fictional town. Yeah, don't yeah, I was looking for that. So yes, he, he, he went northwest on blessed. he went northwest on, you know, Cthulhu Boulevard, you know. Cthulhu Boulevard. First strange <laughs> well, street name, that one. Yes, it's no, just off Dagon Alley. Lovecraft Avenue, there you go. Lovecraft Avenue, HP Avenue. But no, that's the last time I saw him. He seems so good and full of life. I'm really hoping he didn't die in the same horrible way as his wife. This is one fear. Dying exactly how she died. <laughs> My face is just like... Mm. He sees that you're kind of stalling. He goes, look, he hastily writes down an address, hands it to you, says, look, I don't want to... Thank I, you, I, I, need, I need time. That's... Of course. That's the director and... That's the, that's the brownstone they're staying at. Of course. Get out. Of course. <laughs> Dramatically drinks. I, I, and then goes I to throw it and then he realizes it's his last glass. He's like, eh. So he doesn't throw it. No. So it's refilling it instead. Right. You leave the alcohol soaked room with an open flame. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just like, well, I almost caught on fire. <laughs> okay. So as you leave, where are you going? Are you heading towards the brownstone or are you heading towards anywhere else? Your options are the police station for the autopsy report. Or uh, the asylum. I'm not going to the asylum. You could meet up with me. Yeah, I could do that. So, or or, or going to the brownstone. Sorry, that was the other option. Going to see the actor yeah. and director. So, what are you going to do? I once, um. Once again, once again, 
divide and conquer. This is the point of the, the game where you. Divide and conquer. I would I would actually advise uh, it. I'm I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, the the speak to the director. Okay, so you head towards that. Meanwhile, at the Miskatonic University. Fancy pants university. Yeah, you walk you walk through. Uh, you get to the history department. Thankfully, before you left, the detective gave you the mask. Conveniently, because oh, I forgot he put it in his bag. And uh, you're currently in the, uh, yeah, the, history, the history department. You see Dr. Wilcox. Old man. Dr. Wilcox. Wilcox. An, an old man, historian, bald with licked hair to here. A lot of nasal hair, mutton chops. That kind of man. Hell yeah. Who might be older <laughs> than time itself. He looks, he goes, hello. He is Cthulhu. He looks at you and goes, hello. What can I do for you? Are you a student? Do I know you? Actually, roll, roll. Do, does he know you? Oh, yeah. Does he know right. you? He works in a library. Does he know you? He's a historian. He's, He's on the library. He's in his office. Oh, well. One. One? He goes, ah, yeah, you're that writer who wrote... <laughs> Shit, I forgot the name of the books. What are those? Uh, it, what about golf? You wrote some books. The Cat Did It or yes, Biography ah. of John Holmes. Ah, yes. That long dick man. I remember that novella. Fantastic. <laughs> David, spoilers. I apologize. There are people in the library who haven't read it. God. Fair. Yeah. So, Mr. Wilcox, take a What can I do for you, young person? Young person. Hi. So snapper. you know me. I'm I'm Tina Lawson. Um, I'm part of the Arkham Detective Club. Fantastic! I'm a member of the Arkham Adventure Club. We're next door. Fantastic! Wonderful. Wow. You know, it's Adventure so funny. Society. I think it goes I went to go sign up for that one, but you guys had all your slots filled, so the detective club was open and... You should see it. Well, every I... every three weeks, at least one of us dies, so check back in a fortnight. So what can I do for oh, you today? Okay. Speaking of people dying, I'm working on a case right now, um, and... Ooh, spooky. So we have... Yeah, we have this, like, this little... This neat little thing, this little Tashki, and she pulls out the golden mask. <laughs> Just like gonna sort of whip that out in the library. <laughs> it's, it's, as I said before, like two times now, they're in his office. Okay. So he, he, he takes a look and he goes, ah, oh, okay, let's have a look here. So it might be Mesopotamian. Ah, it's a sacrificial one. Whoever, oh, and it's still, this is blood. Because no oh, one cleaned it yet. Yeah, she pulls out a handkerchief. He, he takes, thank you, he takes, thank you, thank you. Literally, Lexa starts, oh, starts cleaning it. Okay, so as you see, now these, you have these... Sorry. that doesn't exist yet. He has color. Oh, <laughs> it's color back then. Uh, He's like, yeah, so as you see, as you see, these system. spikes inside are used to blind the sacrifice, but they're only like an inch long. So this will not kill them. This must be done with their life. I've seen this before in the arm. I think it might have been that old text, the Necronomicon. We have a copy in the library. Puts things like, let's go to the library and let's have a look and see if we can find you what this is. All right, sounds good. You go through the library. Uh, he talks, talks to the library and he's like, okay. I was like, okay, we have to go to the, the restricted section. Literally into a very, very quiet room where the door locks from the outside, because that's where the librarian is waiting for you, so nothing is taken. Dr. Wilcox pulls out a big giant book, thumps it down. It's literally bound in ancient leather. They opens it, okay, so this is the old Latin translation. Not many of these left. The voice is kind of going everywhere, because this is hard to do. He just boom, opens it. So, yes, 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 yes. This man, because you see it points to a picture in the Ah, uh, this, uh, this is the this is the show of the uh, yellow king who is uh, well depending on you read this either from another world or another land uh, ancient deity or king uh, many 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 people sacrificed across the world actually very 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 funny and uh, you seem kind of trail off what's that actually what's that wait wait really he's doing something so I need to roll yeah he's fine. You seem kind of stared at the book for a minute, going like, <gasps> Anyway, the ancient knowledge always has a bit of an effect on people. Oh, so, you know, I get the, the same thing when I eat too much bread. Yes, it's the yeast. The yeast. So, the sacrifice usually um, is disemboweled and some sort of crude form of crucifixion. A lot more nails, though. Uh, but the way they said is that the thing, the sacrifice, is undying. Which I assume 
your sacrifice was dead. So maybe it didn't work. Or yeah. is he walking around? That'd be amazing. Can I see him? Is he on a leash? In a cage? Oh. Can I throw a rock at him? Throw a rock at him? No, I, I don't think he's going to be pulling um, any Jesus on us, um, to be completely honest. Ah, Jesus is a bit of hokum. Uh, this, this, this is other world. This is it's real. spooky. He, he, he goes on to read a bit more. He goes, ah, the elk. Ah, yes, he's mentioned alongside Nyarlathotep. Cthulhu. That's how it's pronounced. Cthulhu. In canon, Cthulhu. no one knows how to pronounce these names. They're alien. I mean, it's so totally people alien, like legitimately, like, legitimately, oh, uh, Lovecraft wanted to, wanted to pronounce it Cthulhu. So, yeah. Cthulhu. And a bunch of others. And it kind of zones out. Zones out again. I'm looking at the the book with the unknown knowledge. It kind of starts drooling a little bit. <laughs> And he's like, you okay? and he's like, uh, yes, 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 I'm fine, 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 fine. So the victims, okay, take time, the victims, um, yes, yes, the victims. He seems really kind of like starting to start with, shakes his head and goes, okay, so there would be a special knife to go along with the special mask. So the victim would be alive right up until they get that heart cut out. But the heart is special. Yeah. yeah. Now this is quite this is quite fascinating because this this whole thing, the only reason I remember it is because that bloody mad bastard used to be a student of mine. What was his name? Thingy my bob. Oh Connor. no, are you talking about Kelvin? Kevin Ken Steven Ke Kevin Walter. Ken Dr. Cox. Billy Um Kevin Kevin Kent, he was lovely. Yeah, Lovely can... man, until he killed everyone. But other than that, yeah, he's a delight. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, he was... they're usually nice until they start killing. He was studying. He was studying the old books and the old books with the old knowledge. Yes, he was actually writing a paper on this until he ate us. Until he what? He ate us. He wrote a paper on it and then he ate the paper. And then he ate. He ate. Do, do you guys not have a cafeteria around here? My god, the poor thing, you must yes. have him. He actually did it in, in the auditorium when he was delivering his paper. He started oh. and he, he wrote it, and every time he finished a page, he'd eat it. We thought it was a bold move by a young man. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to get your delivery of pieces. Yes, and then right afterwards he went on a bit of a, well, I would like to say he had a bit of a wandering mind. Other people like to say it was a killing spree, but you know. Yeah, you know, there's days. a bit of a difference. One's, one's like you take a holiday, the other's you disembowel. He, 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 disembowel would, be, he would be the expert in this. And you see him go to close the book, and he's kind of like peeking at it still as he closes it slowly. And he just goes and goes, I should probably go home after this and sleep. As he yeah. picks up the book, and as he puts it back, he's like, I really want to let go of this thing, but my hand won't let go. Bad hand. Uh, it's a back. You okay? You got trigger finger? That's all right. My, I, my cousin Daryl, he gets it. I, I'm going to go take some laudanum and go to sleep. Laudanum? <laughs> laudanum? <laughs> some strychnine. <laughs> so, um... I probably have some of that your, on me. Your legs. <laughs> Can I take that for my insanity? Ooh, there you go. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're let out of... Thanks, Emily. You're let out of the restricted area. Uh, Dr. Wilcox, she trans... Nice meeting you, young person. Pat your head. I'm going to go lie down now. And he kind of um, just wanders off shaking. Because, you know, like, he read from yeah, the Necronomicon. Yeah. That's yeah, that's a little... Bad. And he didn't pass... Um, the thing is, though, I'm going to tell you now. What well, no, here's the thing. Here's what would have happened if he had failed his, his, his checks. He would have tried to kill okay. you with the book. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yay. So I'm anyway. So anyway. What would you like to do next? Well, um, Kat, where, where are you going? I'm going to um, the, the actor, place with the director. With the director. Mm. Yeah. Let's say, okay, let's say it is about noon. And let's say that you're supposed to meet back at the PlayStation about four. So that means you both can go okay. s both see somewhere else. So the only real place for the writer to go. Yeah, I'm thinking the asylum. The asylum. Um, That's all you do, honey. Odd, <laughs> odd. We go to the director. They go to the brownstone. Even. We go to the asylum. Oh. 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 So anyway, the doctor pulls up outside of the brownstone. I mean, literally, it's brownstone. 
very, very fancy, beautiful building. You look at it and go, huh, I could easily live here, but I'm too intelligent to do that. I'm too cool for this place. <laughs> so, um, you go up and um, you wrap the door. Yeah, um, I'd be like, excuse me, um, Mr. Dumont, are you in? You hear some like shuffling behind the doors. Chop, 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 chop. Put your clothes on. <laughs> The door opens, his man with a very thin mustache like, opens the door goes, Hello! The new hire is there no, 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 him. you see a man open the door, he's wearing a bath, like a very, very fancy, like a... Actually, screw it. he's basically wearing a kimono, but he's wearing it like a bathroom. Hello. Hi, hi, hi there, how you doing? Good, good, how are you? Hello, uh... Are you here, are you here for breakfast? Uh, sir, Did you send I... breakfast? Who are you? Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, sir, do you have a minute to speak? I... Um, uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of some... One thing? I'm in the middle of something! Huh? Something! <laughs> yes! Something. I see, sir. I, I, I'm a, I'm a, d a doc doctor. <laughs> I don't think I'm in that bad of condition. I, I, well, I, I understand is what you're saying. Okay. I, well, I, it is a, 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 a matter of policeness. <laughs> you're a police doctor. I'm a detective. Yes. Okay. So how can I help you? Uh, like a moment to speak to you about, um... Last, the events of last night? Uh, um, nothing happened last night. Last night was a lovely evening. We, we didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Nothing happened. Are you sure? Well, I, I only asked because a man has been found dead in the opera house. Sorry, what now? Yes, I... <laughs> no, let you behind him. I, I, you, no, let you hear the words of... There. Someone was found dead! Doors yanked open. There stands a six-foot-two man, naked, covered in body odors. <laughs> he was found dead! As the, the director grabs the door <laughs> like... and closes it again really quickly. He says, Don't mind him. He was stretching. I see. Good for him. <laughs> it's important to do your stretches every morning. Yes, yes, that's what we're doing. We're already stretching for our I see, I see. aerobics. Amusement. Uh, Daily calisthenics. So, I so, no, no, no. So, 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 um, Quincy's kind of like, so, um, who died? Oh, please tell me. Oh, please tell me, Mr. Kent is okay. He is such a delightful old fellow. Always look out, looks after. Paul Kent? Yes. No, he's, he's very much alive, I assure you. Why did you word it like nice that? Meeting. I'm terrible with names, I'm so sorry. Okay. I so, was so who, who died? Um, I, unfortunately, the man that we found dead was a Mr. Ernest Torrance. <gasps> you're you're uh, something, you're, you're you're a shock behind him. The door yanked open again. Thankfully, this time he's a tall raptor. Hello, naked man. <laughs> he has a tall raptor on himself, going, <gasps> Ernest is dead? And it's unfortunately, like, uh, you, yes. just, you just see Damon turn to him and go, look, look. We're at the front door. Put some clothes on, sir. Would you like to come inside? Yes, please. He, he, he lets you. He lets you get you in and slams the doors. Like, <laughs> makes you sure the curtains are shut by the door. <laughs> he leads you inside, and what you see is, you kind of gather these two have had a very, very vigorous everything. As, it's cool. It's cool. As you see, you see, you enter like through the, the brownstone. So you enter a very, very lovely quarter with a chandelier with a sock hanging off it. You turn a corner into what can only be said as, you know, the living room and everything. Bottles of champagne, oysters, food. You know what? What looks I, to be a I large wooden phallus. And passion. <laughs> large wooden phallus. And what can only be described as copious amounts of cocaine. And Quincy looks I at I see you've been prescribed. Quincy looks at goes, yes, I have a. I actually do it. This is actually prescribed by my doctor, believe it or not. Completely true, because ah. it's, it's the 30s, and this is apparently good for my bones. It is indeed the 30s. I would have so, so he said, he, said, he sits down beside the the, uh, the naked man on the sofa, saying, the naked man. So this is my this is my leading star, Mr. Ryan, Ryan Saint, who is happily married to a woman, of with several children. Of and of course. everyone knows that he's staying in a house across town, and you don't know about this. I know nothing. Good. Now tell. Now, now how can I help? Good. <laughs> oh, there will be two dead bodies if you open your Good. mouth. Good. Yes. So how how can we help? I merely wish to know just anything from last night that you could suspect, or, um, or anything that you would think you could. He can't be poor man. You see. Uh, Quincy kind of squint and goes, Well, I remember the dress rehearsal. It went quite well. Ah, this is this is going to be my magnum opus, you see. It's going to be magnificent. Mm. And then we left. Then there was drinking for medicinal reasons. Of course. Of course. You were there. He points to Ryan. He's like, Ryan goes, Yes, and the other lawyer was there. Uh, Arnest was supposed to join us. Like, yes, Probably, yes. Yeah. 
Then I remember Leapfrog. That wasn't Leapfrog, dear. Oh, yes. So, Frog? yes, yes. No, no, more stretching, more stretching. Vigorous. Um, You two are very fit. Wasn't just two of them. Anyway, we're very close to our lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and say, um, yes, so that's that's what we were doing. And if anyone asks, we were smoking and of talking course. about, um, hunting? Manly things. Manly, like hun hunting. Manly things. And how we Way should vote. And whaling? Is that something men do? Very manly. Is, is whaling I'm a manly sure sport? Is that a sport? And just Ryan goes, no, it's, it's not. Shut up. Listen, um. Between you and me, I think it is a sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending what class you're in, uh, Mr. Seant kind of just goes, um, yeah, we were worried that Ernest hadn't turned up, but, you know, um, his brother mentioned it was an awkward anniversary or something, and he wasn't surprised that he didn't come, so we didn't really go looking Where for Where were him. you two headed? Here, uh, or? Well, originally, originally, if Ernest had come, we would have been drinking and smoking. But just, because Ernest wasn't here, you know, one thing led to another, and... I see. Um, I... and, um... You see Quincy go, and he tripped! Continuously! Of course! And then the other one tripped! Of course. Sometimes one loses their balance while doing their stuff. Yes, and that's that, 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 that oil was just... from my shoulder, because I've injured it. Of course. It, apparently. That's very important. <laughs> God, how we get it? This is going to be really dodgy to put on YouTube. Anyway. <laughs> We're not saying anything explicit. I mean, I did say it's all implied. Implied. That's being bleeped. I mean, anyway. for all they know, yeah. so that one, game. and then when I initially said, okay. make sure to get both. <laughs> God. Anyway, any other, any other questions for the uh, completely straight? Yes. Uh, yeah, straight. Hey, sure. hey, they're just, what's the meal equivalent of Gal? Broho? Uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I know. No, no, no. I worked boy, up. Boy best friend. No, 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 no. I've got boy best friend. Two guys sitting in a hot tub, two feet away. So I'm okay. That guys. Five feet apart. Five feet apart. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. No. Five feet apart because you're not gay. Gay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So. I do enjoy the canon that Lars is definitely also gay. He's just. Hey, hey, hey. Role play it how you like. Though if you're gonna role play it that <laughs> way, we're gonna like, like, skip course, to him. Of course. Oh really? He's going with it because he knows. I like to like I I was trying to say it with the with the tone of I completely understand what you're saying to me. Yeah. And I will oh, not I, fib. I was, I was like, oh, this dude's fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> no, I mean hey, he is, hey, but hey. for different reasons. He's a director from the <laughs> '30s in Hollywood. This is all still yeah. very plausible. So have you any other questions? So, so have you any more questions for these two? Very, very, very um, heterosexual, obviously Very manly heterosexual men. theater men. Yes. <laughs> Because the theater's only for men. Men are like women. <laughs> I can't keep doing with this. Okay, any more questions? <laughs> are you gay? No, I'm kidding. No, no, that's not what I asked. Yes, I'm delightful. No, actually, I'm not. My friend died. Hmm, I'm, I'm not gay at all. Not gay at all. I cannot be gay today with this death. Absolutely not gay. So anyway, any more questions for this? Tuesday. Um, could you think of anyone who could have had a grudge against this man? I mean, he's a lawyer. His practice, so... He just says, Obviously, he's a lawyer. He's specific. Um... <laughs> not that he does a lot of pro bono work. He's... From what I see, he's quite... A pillar of the community, maybe. His brother does like smashing he, glasses, though, when he's being dramatic. I, yes, I spoke with him earlier today. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Did you deliver the news? How many glasses did he go through? Four? Seven? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Four. He got down to his last one and didn't... Ah, the one I give him. Anyway, so... Ah, how nice. I hope. Anyway, so have you any more questions before we... He did He did throw one in the fireplace. Is that significant? There was a fireplace? <laughs> anyway, so have you more questions? Yes. Any more questions you'd like to ask these two men? Are you free next Thursday? No, I'm I mean... Aw. <laughs> uh, you know, like you, you see Mr. Saint going, well, I'm free right now. Anyway, to the asylum. Yes, they continue <laughs> this later. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, no. o'clock, but maybe. Hey, 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 it's noon, remember? <laughs> so anyway, while this, see, so while this, you said suddenly you're thinking it was bad, like a bass going, and they just, you know, <laughs> there's a saxophone. Somewhere. They just, they, they just kind of, you know, Ooh. surround you. We immediately cut to the asylum, so I need to describe <laughs> anything. Um. <laughs> See the silhouette of so the So you arrive, you arrive at the asylum. So, shh, shh, Tell you're off. Quiet. So you arrive at the asylum. This is a foreboding building. It's just on the outskirts of town. 
Mist tangs in the air. You hear in distance screaming muffled through what can only be described as bars, windows, and heavy, heavy bars are illegal. concrete. Shut up. Heavy concrete walls. <laughs> and before you is wow. the door. The heavy well, door. Well, I definitely wouldn't want to buy a timeshare around here. Hina knocks on the door, I guess. Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to enter an asylum. Yeah, how do you enter an asylum? The, the, yeah. the, the, door, the door opens. He's not ordered to be the there. The door opens and an orderly goes, Hello. Oh, here, let oh, me so roll my... Uh, I got a six. This man can't I read. I had to stop, like... <laughs> uh, he's like, um, can yeah. I help he you? He just his patience all day. Hi, um, I'm Tina Lawson. Um, I'm with the Occam Detective Club. Um, and I'm working on a little case here. And I was wondering if I could talk to, uh, one of your, um... The term we use is patience. It Re pa patient. Yes, residence, re residence is for a different building where they're allowed to leave. Ah, uh, yeah, you're, uh, your patients. Yeah, you okay, who, who, he kind of looks and goes, okay, who do you want to see? Um, yeah, can I, can I talk to, uh, Kevin Kent? Oh, you're not one of those fangirls, he gets, you're not one of those people, no. you're not going to try and marry, he gets so, he gets so much weird meal, I have to open it, it's, it's weird, I don't like it, they send him stuff, it gets... You have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to this doctor. One second. He's like, come in, come in, wait here. And he points to like a sterile, white tiled room with a small, basically a very very small chair, and behind it is a very large metal door which he opens and leaves through. He comes back several minutes later. Um, with a very thin doctor, blonde hair, pulled back. And he's like, hello. Uh, I am uh, Mr. Mr. Kent's doctor. I am a. Uh, Dr. West. First name Adam. No, Fish. Herbert. Ah. Anyone watching David, this? David, this is pertinent information. No, Adam. no, no. It, 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 not, here's the thing. If either of you two are actually Lovecraft fans, this is important information. So, Dr. Adam West. West? Gotcha. No, Herbert. Herbert West. Oh, Herbert. Dr. So, Herbert West. So, uh, Sherbert. he's like, hello. Pleasure to meet you. You're here to speak to uh, Mr. Kent. Yeah. You're the second um, visitor today. He has a. He has, a, he, has a weekly, he has a weekly conversation with his priest. I think he checks watch. Do you know what? They might be, they might be done soon. Sure, come, let me lead the way. And he leads you through the sanatorium. Um, past many, 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 many locked doors. You hear screaming. You hear one person barking like a dog. You hear someone speaking in languages that can't really be s deciphered. deciphered. Sorry, I... And when you said he was barking like a dog, a dog barked in the neighborhood. <laughs> that is the power I have when I'm a GM. I was like, oh and um, he's like, Mr. Kent has been with us for, I think it's nearly six and a half years. Um, he has been on amazing behavior. He hasn't bitten anyone in months. Um, oh, that's good. And as you come near the end of the quarter, the door opens and a priest walks through. Uh, hello, Dr. West. He, Mr. Kent is in a wonderful mood today. Uh, hello. And he reaches his hand out. Do you want to roll? Ah, uh, that's a three. Good afternoon, how are you? Hi, I'm Tina Lawson. She shakes his hand. And he, 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 as he shakes, he, he looks over the doctor so is, so, is, so is, is, is she being led to her room? He goes, no, 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 don't worry, she's just a visitor. Oh, fantastic! He actually shakes her hand back. Uh, she's here so to see what, Mr. Kent. Yeah, what's the priest's name? Uh, oh, hello, my name, I am Father Ramsey Pierce. Uh... Kevin is re uh, me and Kevin have been friends since he has been but a young boy. And are you the only one that sees him? I hear you see him every week. Um, I think I'm. He looks at the doctor. Am I the only visitor he gets? And he goes, um, yeah, like just you and me, and that's about it since the biting. Since the biting. Okay. This is the point where you uh, look over to the orderly and you realize he's got a very strange round scar right around down here in his cheek. And he's like, yes, I'm happy he doesn't bite anymore. Oh. <sighs> You know, you know, pats his shoulder like you are okay, honey. So you said he was in a good mood today. Oh, no, he, he is in a seem... wonderful mood. Kevin, well, he has been in a wonder wonderful mood since he found the Lord's light. Oh, he 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 he, do he does love love God as a good Christian. So Christianity is yeah, the only does... the only way forward in New England, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Massachusetts, in, New England. in the thirties. Um. So... 
so suddenly God. the very obviously Jewish writer gets horribly uncomfortable with this Catholic priest. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Moving on. <laughs> so, so he does, he does like, he does like pray. And he like prays to he Jesus. Prays, he prays to God. Oh, okay. Anyway, I've got to go. Pleasure meeting you once again. Was it Mrs. L Mrs. Lawson? Miss Larson. Ms. Ah, so unmarried. Don't worry. They'll get you eventually. And he just kind of like, wanders <laughs> off, all, you know, whistling to himself. And uh, Dr. West turns and goes, Ha, huh, that man's a dick. And uh, I like he, he leads you in. He's good. And he says, um, He opens the door and says, If you have any problems, don't scream. He casually locks the door behind him. Seems like it Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> Dr. <Lo> <laughs> West, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> you realize you're not in a um, small Dr. cell. West. And um, with the back to you, you see what looks to be quite wild hair. And the person turns to you with a big smile and goes, Hi. Oh, hi. Roll your d6. Uh, four. Hello, friend. How are you today? I'm good. How are you today, Kevin? I am very good, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um. Did you I get some wonderful. good news? Did you get some good news recently? I mean, with Father Pierce, he's always giving the good news. Oh, uh, yeah, with, um, with that uh, little Yoshki and all that, yeah. He doesn't understand the word you be I, 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 I don't understand the word you use. <laughs> <laughs> he just... it, the, uh, <clears throat> it's a nickname for Jesus. Um, some people we, don't. We, we, talked like about, we, we talked about God. Oh, right, yeah, God. Um, mm. And all of his, um, his, his golden, yellowish radiance. Oh yes, radiance. oh yeah. yes, the eternal okay. king, always in yellow, always in yep. gold. Yep, always on his lofty throne, you know. Hmm. He smiles at you. He just turns his head and goes, "So who died this time?" <laughs> Tina turns around and is like, even though I walk through the valley of death, I feel <laughs> He says, oh, there's plenty to fear. You get, you, you're you very, very happy that he is sitting in a straight jacket. Yeah. And his back seems Does to be have strapped. Does mask on? No, but his back is strapped to the wall. So he can kind of ah, just about lean forward, but he can't, you know. You see there's a, li you you see there's a line drawn on the floor and you think, I probably shouldn't pass that one. The line shall be drawn here. <laughs> now, Father, here! God, I lost your first con. No, 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 don't distract me with Star Trek. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> he looks at you and, uh, after the question, just smiles again. Yeah. Do you so, serve the Golden but, God? Well, I'm, I'm like, I'm just perusing, you know, and I heard you're the guy to talk to about this. I am one of many. We are, are you as we say, a flock. Oh, you got a nice little congregation. You guys make minion? Anyways, um, forget I said that. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Um, so, it wasn't you this time, right? He looks and goes, well... And then he just jumps a bit and you realize he's shackled to the wall. He's like, I've been here since yesterday. I've been doped up to the eyeballs. And only now am I kind of coming down. So, when was your murder? When did the murder happen? Uh, well, it, uh, it did happen this last night, yeah. Yeah. Well, this morning, technically. This morning? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was about this morning. So. Well, um, from about 11, well, about 11 last night, I've been drooling. In fact, he, point, he, he kind of points to the padded floor and goes, do you see that weird gray, that gray, gray skin? That's where I was drooling earlier. That's where I woke up. So, no, okay. I have not killed anyone for a good three years. Well, that's that's probably an improvement in the eyes of your doctor. Uh, he's got his own issues. Uh, yeah, we all got we all got our little demons, our little our little Azazels and inc evil inclinations, you know. I don't really think of mine. Mine is evil. I've technically never. Oh, killed. that's true. I've that's never killed yeah. anyone. Yeah. Um. So how does that work? Because like, as far as everyone can tell, they do just die. You know. They're never like dead. the bodies, oh, their no. bodies oh, die. Oh, the bodies die, but they're not dead. Oh, okay. Um, how does that work? What do they do? The 
Do their souls go and oh, no. join so, the, the Yellow King? No, he devours them. Oh, and then, okay. And then, he, and then, as you should know, as you should know from being, you know, one of the flock, then he has a vessel. Because you remove what's there, then he has a vessel. So this, um, he goes with once, the... Once again, this is a horror game. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get that from the eye thing that yeah. happened right at the very beginning. Yeah, Tina's just like, I, I... Oh, how do you, how do you process that? Help. I think she was um, help. <laughs> Hashem mm. bless me, oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> Uh, well, he can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. Can, can, can gesture. Well, it's like only one. Only one true vassal. Oh, the you others will, don't work. No, you will know it as the vassal chosen. Uh, will be anointed oh. with his crown. Oh, does Tina have? Yeah, she oh. still have the thing on you. Yeah, I was gonna ask if she had like pictures, maybe instead. No, because that would take like okay. a day. I draw to... it real quick, I guess, yeah, on the wall, or, or describe it. Uh, I'll dip. Round. So that's um, is that like a now 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 stop me if this starts sounding familiar. But a, a golden mask, full gold, and it's got a like a little crown built into it. In front. So I just did a quick roll for him there. He smiles and goes, "Of course, I can hear it sing to me. You brought it to me, didn't you?" I. Uh, it's not for you. Um, oh no no I mean, no! I am not worthy. I'm not worthy to have it, but I know, yeah. I know you have it. He oh. leans a bit closer, and he sees something straining on those those restraints. There says, "So, who was wearing it?" Yeah, do you know a um? Do you know a Ernest Torrance? Ha! I killed his wife. I mean, I didn't. Well, I said killed. I. Pour out her heart and fed her soul to an elder god. But yeah, I met, I, I met her. He he did he did stab me, which honestly, under the circumstances, I totally get. I was eating his wife's heart. Understandable. Yeah, which you know, oh, you in, in that in that situation, I can get why. Justifiable. Yeah, like he, he had a poker. He stabbed me with it. Beat that. I mean, I thought I was going to die. But you know, honestly, under the circumstances, I can I completely get it. No hard feelings. So, um. <laughs> Because this is Tina's first time hearing about this. Like, yeah. okay, so why why him? Um, hmm. You'd have to you'd have to you'd have, you'd have to ask the All Father about that one. Oh, the All Father. You know, I lost his contact information. I'm such a cause. Well, he is Do the one. To him? He is the one who uh, originally uh, showed me the book, allowed me to read its pages. And, uh, uh, yeah, that funny, Necronomicon. Yeah, yeah, funny enough, you, you, you passed him on his way out. Oh, did I? Oh, figures. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> figures. God. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, you know, they're usually really about the Jesus. I thought I thought something. They're really oh, about the Jesus. He, he doesn't believe in that. That poke him. No. That superstition. No, no, no. He is a follower of the one true golden god. Yeah. Um, so, um... Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cause I was wondering. So once again, as I, I, as I was saying earlier, I've not really killed anyone. He did though. I'm on really high medication right now. I'm not even sure you're really here. <laughs> That's fine. Don't you worry. You can think of me as uh as your as your fairy godmother. Um, the elephants don't normally have fairy wings. Uh, they do. Have you watched cartoons? Little... No, 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 no. You realize I... you kind of you kind of get the, the feeling that maybe maybe he's this man nice. is still off his fucking tits. Yeah, a little bit. Just a, he's a little. He's a little, he's a little doped. It's fine. Just okay. A little so wait. Bit. So wait. You. So you don't. So I know this isn't important, but I do want to. I do want to have this conversation. So wait, so you kill their human bodies, mm -hmm. their physical form, and then you feed them to a god, Well, but they're not dead. Okay, so... There's something to do with dogs, and dogs usually came back quick quick enough. Um, no, the way the... Come back? Oh yes, uh, puppeted by the golden Oh, guy. because... Yeah, yeah because gold so yeah, oh. uh, so I have to... I ingest the heart, 
and through transubstantiation, the king in yellow gets the soul. Um, so how quickly does the yellow king come and, like, um, do his little thing? Well, if he, if he, if he was wearing his crown, that's different. That's, that's not the usual, I'm going to just speak to my followers, have a bit of fun. Uh, that's more of him wanting to arrive on our plane, which is just amazing. He's coming here. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know how? Do you have like a time frame for how long that's gonna take? Um, well, let's see. He should be here before the sun sets, and then the world oh, will the end. Yeah, In fire, okay. brimstone, and he will teach us of new ways to play and meme. Hey, how is you? Hi, go, go the Arkham Squidman. How are they doing this year? Go uh, football. You know, they don't really give me much news. Oh, football. <laughs> oh, <it's>, Arkham okay. <laughs> Squidman. I was like, oh, fucking. I was like, man, both me and Tina are going to have to bullshit something here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Jack about sports. Um, so since the world's going to end, I just realized I have I have a little kishka that I had left over, and I definitely want to eat that before the world ends. So Is that a heart? Um, I'm... No, it's probably not good for your heart, though, to be completely honest. I mean, what? And he just goes, oh, what is these days? <laughs> right? Uh, I'll see you. Uh, uh, I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you, you, you take care. Sorry, uh, let me show you out. And he stands up and reaches for the door. 